one of the images that you use in the Emotionally Healthy Leader book is the image of the elephant. Yeah. And uh, in terms of healthy culture, team building, conflict, that, that elephants in the room are addressed. So just take us through uh, what we talked about in our staff meeting today is there are different size elephants yeah, as well. That's good. So there's like big elephants yeah. and then there's like these baby elephants that <laughs> have the potential to really grow. Yeah. Um, what have you learned about these big elephants and these little elephants uh, as it pertains to just conflict? Or, or another question is about little elephants becoming big elephants. Before yeah. that, how do, yes. how do you, what have you learned? Well, as you said well today, all little elephants become big elephants eventually. They don't go away. Uh, and that I, I see little elephants or the tensions or conflicts as discipleship, spiritual formation opportunities. And an oppor- it's, it's my best opportunity to bring leadership to create culture. Uh, and so I don't see them as, oh, I'm moving in this direction. We got services to prepare for Sunday, you know, launch out. And, oh, this person is being a pain in the neck in a meeting, disagreeing with me disrespectfully. Dang, I wish this person wasn't there because I just got to get this job done for Sunday. Uh, that's no longer, I think, the way we approach it at New Life. I think we see, no, this is a, this is part of the process and this is an opportunity, uh, for discipleship in this person's life. Now, the problem is they, they're disrespectful maybe in a meeting towards me, but now I've got a process. How am I going to deal with this? I got to prepare myself and the conversation. It's just a lot of work. Mm. And so this takes time. Uh, and part of the reason we call it emotionally healthy culture is because it takes time to be thoughtful and prayerful and reflective about what's going on in the inside to be able to approach people mm-hmm. uh, in a way that's respectful and not shaming.